morning, welcome to the Endeavour Sailing tutorial on tides. And what we're going to be looking at in particular here is the creation of tides. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull between the sun, the moon and the earth. When we have a new moon or a full moon, the earth, the moon and the sun are in alignment, creating a strong gravitational pull. This causes a large movement of water. This is known as a spring tide. When we are at a quarter moon, the sun, the moon and the earth are not in alignment, therefore creating a weaker gravitational pull, which results in a smaller movement of water. This is what we know as a neap tide. When we are halfway between these points, we are on a mid-range tide. Here we have an example of tide data as found within an almanac. And we can use this tide data to work out whether we're on a springs, a mid-range or a neap tide by calculating what the range of the tide is today. So now we'll look at some working examples. Now let's look at a few working examples and we'll use this based on the data found in the RYA training almanac. And let's use just for an example Port Victoria. And we'll start off with the first one in the book, January the 1st. So January the 1st and we're looking at Port Victoria. And we have first of all at 0510 and 0510 UT, we have low water of 0.9 metres. We then have at 1126 UT, we have high water, which is 5.8 metres. So the next step we need to do is to calculate the range. And the range is the difference between high water and low water. So the range today is 4.9 metres. Now if we go ahead a couple of pages you'll see this little graph and you can see from this little graph it says that if the range today is 4.9 metres we are on a spring tide. Okay. So now let's just look at a different date and let's look at February the 20th. And again we'll look in Victoria. On uh, February the 20th we have high water at 0254 UT and our high water height is 4.5 metres. We then have low water at 0905 UT and low water is 2 metres. So therefore today we have a range of 2.5 metres. So if we go back to that little graph again, that shows that 2.5 metres means we're on a neap. Now look at a mid-range tide. So we're going to look at today March the 5th. Again, I'm going to use March the 5th in Victoria. And on March the 5th, we have in the afternoon at 14.50 UT, we have high water, which is 5.1 metres. At 21.09 UT, 
we have low water which is 1.4 metres. So if we find the range again, that difference between high water and low water, we have a range of 3.7 metres. Now this doesn't fall at our 4.9 or our 2.4 metres, it's almost in the middle. So we can call this a mid-range tide. So to summarise, the first thing when we're calculating tides is that we need to work out whether we're on a spring tide, a neap tide or a mid-range tide. And then we can then do our calculations for everything else from this point.